when Castro took over Cuba, uh, uh, Batista, the other, um, the guy that was ran the place before him, dictator, he took all the money with him and his friends and left. So Castro took over a dead broke company, a country, and he hired Joe Brooks, who was a best known fishing writer in the, United, in the world at that time, who was my mentor, and he hired, and he hired Castro, Castro hired Bro Brooks to bring writers down there and write about the fishing, so uh, what would happen? We'd, we'd come home and money would come down. And Howard Gallellan, who used to live in Baltimore and was on the outdoor writer staff, and I were the first two guys that were down, we were there 18 days. And they were having a Hemingway White Marlin tournament there uh, at that time. And um, so I spent one day with on Astro's, both of us are on Castro's boat as observers. He won the tournament, but he didn't cheat. And then we spent two days with Ernest Hemingway. And the first day, I didn't know much of who I really knew very little about Hemingway. I knew he wrote books. I, I had a high school education, so I, Hemingway told me that his mate was the best bill fisherman in the world. So I spent the whole first day uh, learning how all the tricks about deboning mullet and all that kind of stuff to, for bill fishing. And then Howard told me that night, who spoke Spanish and was highly educated, that I was absolutely nuts not to spend time with Hemingway. So I did. And to make the thing very short, during the middle of the day, I asked, I said, Ernest, how do you tell what good writing is? And um, he, he, uh, he thought about it a while and he finally said, it can't be edited. 